how was long was that? Because it was very long in my head. But yet, here we are. How do you not know what's happening in the world? Time to go in for these little babies. Ugh. I snooze like probably six times before I get up. And it's definitely happening today. I need a shower. No eating, no drinking, anything. And then I'm gonna Uber because Otherwise, my friend has to wait forever. I don't want to do that. So. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to snooze one more time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm ready. I got my cozy jammies on. It's like come cozy, so I'm in sweats. And I can't eat anything, but I did do like a little bit of something, something. Cause I gotta show up for my my little eggs that are that are gonna be sucked out today. <laughs> it's been like the script. Um, so I'm gonna pack up my stuff. I'm gonna grab my camera because I'm currently on my phone, and then call an Uber. Yay! So early. You know what? I should lock my door. The double chin is so real. Well, while I wait for my Lyft, my Uber, I don't know what I ordered. Um, I'm really not feeling nervous at all. I feel very at peace <sighs> that whatever will happen will happen and whatever eggs are in there and come out and are saved and stored are the ones that are supposed to. And obviously I'm hoping for a really good outcome like all seven but if we get three i'll be happy if we get less than three like i'm gonna probably struggle and i'm gonna be like what the freaking heck is wrong with my body um but we don't know till we know so i'm gonna hold off on freaking out the other thing is i'm i justine my employee for bundlebrook nurses is actually positive for covid so covid is real she's so sick so prayers to her but um I was tested two days ago, so I'm waiting my results this morning because I was exposed to her. We worked together for two days and we did not wear a mask. She's one of my clo like close circle people. So God forbid I'm positive for COVID. That's probably like my biggest stressor at this point because we'll have to cancel and I won't get to go to Ecuador in like less than a week. So prayers for that. Um, that's probably stressing me out more than the actual eggs. So we will find out my COVID test results and then Let's go along for the ride. Thanks, guys. Love you. Oh, I will. <laughs> Dr. You'll be getting transvaginal ultrasound guided aspiration of ovarian pellicular cyst under total intravenous general anesthesia. Right. Name in terms, egg retrieval. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. You take a few days to feel back to your normal self. Avoid okay. stairs and straining for the first 48 hours. Okay. Avoid core work for about a week. We avoid Advil Aleve mm -hmm. um, because of the blood thinning component to it. Mm -hmm. To become a patient. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Are you doing okay? I'm great. Exciting day. We're ready to have our egg retrieval. Okay, perfect. I love that you've hung in there so strong <laughs> and you I've don't give so up strong. and you do the best you can do. I did That's all the things. That's been great. 
great. It's been great. So I'm excited. We're going to go for every single follicle that we can see. Okay. Today, before you leave, you'll know exactly how many eggs you had total. Excellent. By tomorrow, I'll know for sure how many of those eggs were mature. I may even know today. Okay. If I do know today, I'll let you know today. Great. Okay. You may be getting some cramping a little bit later on. Totally normal. Okay. okay. You have Tylenol to take. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to take Motrin or Advil starting tomorrow, you're okay, but not today. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, you may be feeling a little bit more bloated after the eggs come out of you, oh, more but, it'll, bloated. but it'll go away. <laughs> it'll go away next week. And I do okay. want you to come in for a little ultrasound and blood test, okay. maybe on Monday or Tuesday, whichever day is better Great. for you, Either just one. to make sure that your ovaries are kind of just shrinking back down in the right direction to normal. Okay. Perfect. No problem. Good. I'm ready. Okay. Go in and suck them out. So you're going to meet my anesthesia team. Mm -hmm. They're going to give you a little medicine and IV just to relax oh, you here. Okay. And then once we get into the surgery center and into the operating room, you're going to get a little bit more medicine that you're going to fall asleep. You're totally going to be breathing on your own. Okay. And before you know it, you'll be awake and it'll be all done and not even know that anything happened. Lovely. I love that. Okay. All right. So I'll be dealing the medicine here to make you relax. Okay. Get, to, get you through it. Lovely. What are you going to give me? Uh, we start off with Versed, which okay. is like Valium, which will be like... I'll the best be... three minutes of your day. Uh, perfect. I'm right. excited about it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> there you go. Here's the good stuff, guys. Midazolam. We call it Midazolam because in a moment we'll know why. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm nervous, but not. Well, this is the anti nervous juice, so. Perfect. I'll pretty soon I'll be feeling great. Yeah. When you start smiling, you know you're ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> I like your What am I supposed to feel? I know, yeah. like just in case there's some wind yeah. in here uh -huh. you know? right. <laughs> for being outside. We're not going to take it down that fast. Oh, I feel that. Yeah. Oh, wow. See? Oh, wow. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Guys. Oh, wow. I feel, I feel great. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> wow, this is, wow, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm feeling great. <laughs> I told you you're gonna have fun. I, here, this, is, okay? this is the best day of my life. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. I was like, I don't feel anything. Oh, wow. That's, that's. Well, I feel very drunk. <laughs> and then, hope that this battery carries us through for the surgery. I feel so drunk. <laughs> Great. Wow. All right. All right. You are the man of the hour. We love him. Oh, you're not going to make me walk. <laughs> no, no, we're not going to make you walk. I was thinking if I had to walk, that would be a very interesting experience. <laughs> we'll make you walk out. No, oh, perfect. I'm excited to walk out. <laughs> Here we go. We. We are so great. ready for all of the juicy follicles and babies. Yes, we are. Here. Yes, we are. <laughs> so every patient that comes in has double verification checks. Um, our embryologist is here and is going to do an ID check right now. Hi. Hello. <laughs> My name is Karen. We're embryologist today. Awesome. We are saving all the eggs. <laughs> yes. There's a cutout. Your tailbone is going to sit under the cutout. You're in the cutout. As if you're kind of like falling mm. into it, make sure your gown sink the booty on both sides. I sink this booty. Hold on, I feel very drunk. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead and lean back. Okay. It's a little scary for you. All right. All right. How are you feeling? Okay. I, I feel so <laughs> great. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just the happiest time. Okay. Have a great nap, okay? Uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Here. So this is the vaginal ultrasound that's placed um, in terms of getting the eggs out. And there's a little port on the side where a needle goes through the vaginal wall, and that's how we'll retrieve the eggs. So 
that's an example of the follicles. Those little bubbles there are the future follicles that are the casing that hold the eggs. So right through the vaginal tissue, the needle goes in and it starts retrieving and aspirating the fluid from the follicles. It's fine. And with the follicular fluid, the eggs are retrieved. The follicular fluid is then passed to our IVF lab, where our embryologists check to make sure if there are any eggs in the, in the tubes that we're passing. As you can see, the patient doesn't feel anything. Sarah is sleeping and very, very comfortable. So we did great. She was very comfortable and didn't feel anything um, during the entire procedure. She's totally out of it right now. And, and I'm very happy and I'm really excited to tell her that she got six eggs. And that was basically all of the follicles she had was exactly six. So we were right on. I'm hoping that they're all mature. Unfortunately, usually they're not all mature, but she did really well and I'm really happy to talk to her when she wakes up. All right, Sleeping Beauty. Nap time is almost over. I think she's enjoying the beach a little too much. She's at that beach right now. Sarah! Hey, guess what? We're finished. <laughs> I think you did go to that beach. I have like a situation. You have what? I had the beach and he was just... Yes. That was, that was enough. I needed that. You needed that, yeah. I think you did. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to have you scoot over to the bed to your left, okay? Is it over? It's over. Wait a second. I forgot. Holy moly. <laughs> It's over? I forgot where I was. This is like, oh, ovaries. I speak to you every day. I tell you, do what you want to do. Wow, I forgot where I was. Ooh, my vagina feels, my vagina feels pressure in my butthole. Uh, in your butthole? Okay. Scoot oh, over. <laughs> Somewhere down there. Okay. We're gonna give you a little medicine. Come towards me a little bit, dear. What a Come on over. Oh Whoa, I don't even remember falling asleep. I gonna be okay. Ooh, cramp, cramp, cramp. We'll get you some meds when we get out of here. Cramp, cramp, cramp. Yeah, some meds going. Right. You're having cramping, you said? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. give you some pain. Some like Someday, these eggs will be shot with the spermies. Wow. How was long was that? Because it was very long in my head. But yet, here we are. How do you not know? What's happening in the world? <laughs> I, I don't know. I know where I am. She gave me fentanyl, which is strong meds. That's what we give you in labor. My lips are so dry. I'm gonna get you some water right now. Anesthesiology. How did how did I do? I breathed. You did beautiful. Yes, you breathed perfectly the whole time. <laughs> 
I figure I might not be here if I stop breathing or something, right? You know, like. Well, that's why I'm here. But that anesthesia, if you guys don't know, anesthesiologists are the best the best you save the day in labor you save the day so I don't feel anything and you make sure I'm safe hi are you a nurse hi nurse Julie Jade I like that name Jade they sucked them out wow I'm so thirsty I'm getting you water yay you can see my beautiful swollen face oh I love you all that just didn't feel like it happened all right I'm gonna give you some Tylenol oh my god yes this is a thousand milligrams don't go over a thousand milligrams per dose it's about 10 o'clock you can get it again around 4 30 5 o'clock mmm oh that is orgasmic that is everything. Mm, mm. Okay, here's the pill. Don't go over 3,500 milligrams in 24 hours, okay? It's 1,000 milligrams. You got it. I'm totally a martyr. When it comes to meds, I'm the worst patient. The nurse. It works. Like I feel like my uterus is like mild menstrual cramps. I get really effing bad menstrual cramps. So... This is just long, oh, crampy, crampy, like early labor. <sighs> I feel like I lost a moment of my life. I can't wait to see my little babies. <laughs> Okay, I'm dying to know. I love hey, my little how are you? eggs. Good, how are you? I hope they got something. People are looking at me like I'm crazy. I feel crazy. Whew. Wow. Oh, crampy, 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 crampy. Wow, that was a trip. That was a trip. I can't wait to know how it goes. I don't know I'm crying. <laughs> How's my vitals? I can't see straight. Anesthesiologists, you underestimate their power. They are so smart. They know everything about everything. And like if something goes wrong, you want them there. Like, they are there. Whoa. My pulse sounds good. I'm alive. I wonder how long this will feel. Last. Make sure I'm stable. I'm looking pretty good. If you ask me, that surgery is so weird because you're like, oh, a beach and men, sexy man on the beach fanning me in the sun. Did you have a dream when you were in surgery? Yeah, I love it. Remember that. Hi. Tell me. How are you? I am so good. Okay, good. I'm so good. Great. Tell me all the great. You did great. So you, we got six eggs. Okay. <gasps> yeah. You got six. Yep. Oh my god, that's so amazing. So I don't know how many of them are mature yet. You don't even care. But that's a. That is solid. You are the best doctor ever. Thank you. You're the Thank best. Thank you. So we did great, you did great, okay? And you were calm and cool, collected and relaxed and didn't feel anything. I feel, I don't even know. I didn't, I was out, not. Good, good. Not. So I will be letting you know how many of those are mature as soon as I hear, okay? Okay. Um, 
with the big, big one you had turned out to be just an cyst. It was just like clear fluid. But the six eggs came from all the other follicles. And okay. there was a reason why that one was really big. And I was very much, I kind of could have bet money. Very suspicious that it was probably a simple cyst. But it's gone now. Is that because I had it before I had a cyst, or it was this I think, month I, I had a cyst? I think that you had it from before, and it was small, and with all the medication, the cyst grew as well. Did you pop it? I didn't pop it, but I aspirated it and removed all the fluid. So is that why I have really bad menstrual cramps normally? No, it has nothing to do with that. Oh, okay. No, no. But you did I great. I thought you cured me of my you menstrual You did great. <laughs> we're going to let you kind of relax here, and when the nurses say you're okay, you'll go, and I'll be in communication with you. If you need anything at all, you reach out to me, okay? The best. Okay, my Thank dear. Thank you for saving welcome. my baby. Good job. I'm proud of you. Good job. Mm -hmm. That sucker's going to be a battle wound. <laughs> okay. God, I need water. We did it! On our way out! Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Yay! Hi friends! How are you doing? I'm really thirsty. Like, really thirsty. I want to die. We need food and water. Oh, amazing, thank you, you're yeah. the best. I think a bottle in the trunk. Like, yeah, I have yeah. never in my life been so thirsty. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh my God, what would I do without you? Do you have the Rona? Right? Does the water taste okay? Water tastes like, like the springs oh. from the mountain tops <laughs> of Montana. <laughs> Now you get food. This is my BFF who is saving the day, <laughs> making sure I don't run into the street like a crazy <laughs> or fall over. <laughs> Falling over is more likely. I am home. I'm feeling great. My throat is still really dry. I'm still super thirsty, but I had some food. No big deal. I'm feeling significantly less medicated than I did when I left or I was even in recovery from Lord knows. Um, I have no cramps. She did give me Tylenol. She said at like what, 10? So it's been like four hours. I feel fine. I could put a heating pad on, she said, which is usually what I do for my cramps anyway, but I feel nothing. I have some like weird, like tan colored stuff in my pad which is fine. Um, she warned me that that was going to be a thing. And then I'm just kind of laying low. I feel really sleepy. I ate and then my friend was here until a second ago. And so I think I'm just going to put on a show and just veg out for the rest of the day and just sleep and nap and feel great. First of all, so sleepy. Like I can't do anything else, which is okay. I'm just giving myself permission to sleep. But second of all, I don't know what first of all is, second of all is, like half asleep. My throat is still so dry. But I just fell asleep here. I'm just so sleepy. So I'm not going to complain about that. And I just keep sleeping. I just took <laughs> like a four hour nap and I feel so much better. I was feeling like a tiny bit hungover. Um, 
I was feeling like a tiny bit hungover, like almost like headache and like just like, uh, and then I could not stay awake to save my life. So I slept and now I feel great. No cramps, no pain, no vaginal anything, like not even bleeding. Um, that's it. I feel great. Easy peasy. Literally strangers online are like, you have to have a baby, you're gonna have a baby. And like how does somebody as giving as you not have a child? I'm like, tell me about it.